As explained before, programming an ATP in the VF zone during charging or before charging is now a medication class 1 in the new guidelines for ventricular arrhythmia with a rate up to 230 beats per minute. Different parameters can be programmed. First, you need to choose between during charging or before charging. Then you will have to program a limitation in terms of rate. It means that at the time of the initial detection of the ventricular fibrillation, the device will look at the eight last ventricular cycles. If at least one of these eight cycles is shorter than this limit of 240 milliseconds, the burst will not be delivered and the shock will be the first therapy. In the last guidelines, it is recommended to program a burst more than a ramp because the ratio between the reduction and the acceleration is better for the burst compared to the ramp. You should program from 8 to 15 pulses and the percentage from 85% to 88%. If you enable the charge saver option, the device can automatically switch from ATP during charging to ATP before charging. This change will occur when ATP has successfully terminated the detected arrhythmia on a programmable number of consecutive attempts. Here it's programmed on one. The switchback feature is available whenever ATP before charging is enabled. If ATP before charging fails to terminate the detected arrhythmia on two consecutive attempts, the switchback feature automatically switches to ATP during charging. If you enable the smart mode option, the device automatically sets the ATP parameter to off if ATP therapies delivered before or during charging fail to terminate the tachyarrhythmia in four consecutive episodes.